In the past, we've looked at crazy pageant moms. However, today we're going to be looking at a crazy pageant dad. This is either going to go one of two ways, and I don't think it's going to go the way that we want it to. Hi, my name is Chris, and this is all about Haley. Oh, okay. Whoa, whenever I looked at him, he's got a nice smile. They're fake teeth, aren't they? Look, he seems like a lovely person, but I don't know something about them two front teeth. They're a bit too white, if you know what I mean, but he seems like a lovely guy. My name is Haley. I'm nine years old, and this is my first pageant. She's got lovely eyes, hasn't she? I won't lie, I don't really see a lot of ginger kids and it sounds really weird. But actually think ginger people are quite cute, especially ginger kids, not in a creepy way. But look at her, she's a wee girl, look at her, she's got lovely wee face. You have everything you need, right? You have your jewelry, you have your shoes, you have your makeup, so now the only thing you have to do is find out where you're gonna put your sash. Oh, oh god, Grinch. It reminds me of the Grinch, that's what it is. Oh my god, look at Hilly. she doesn't look happy. She doesn't want to be there. I mean, this is her first pageant, I think she's like nine. So thank god she wasn't forced into it whenever she was literally two months old. So far, this dad actually seems pretty good. He doesn't seem to be forcing his kid that much, but I've got a feeling that might change. Maybe we could rearrange your medals that you got at school? Maybe. Why does she seem so scared? Like, did you hear her? She's like, maybe. It sounds like she's actually quite scared. Don't be scared, sweetheart. Do you want to know what it is? I think it's the fact that like the dad's got a very intense face. Do you ever like look at an adult like they just give you like an intense look where like they just make eye contact with you? I'm literally doing that right now so I don't know what I'm on about. But I think it's the fact that he's got a bit of Botox, blue eyes and a pearly white smile. It's intimidating! I decided to enter Haley in pageants just because she is somewhat shy and I am only trying to do what I can do to maybe help her break out of that a little. Oh, he seems really sweet, doesn't he? But is Haley his biological daughter? I'm just gonna be honest, I did think he was a bit like me, he was a bit of a gay boy. Can I say that? Am I gonna get in trouble for that? But look at him, he's got a lovely wee smile. I think it's just the fact that the teeth are too white. Do you ever look at someone's teeth and you're like, they're nice teeth, but they're like too white? I think that's what's going on here. I am not shy. Has he got mascara on? I think he does. He's got very good eyelashes. I mean, he's not ugly. He's very pretty. I think he would just look kind of scary if you like woke up from an hour. So how are you feeling about it? I guess fine. You don't seem too <laughs> stoked about it. Does he even know what she's doing? I feel like a lot of times these kids are kind of told, you really enjoy it, don't you? Yeah, you love it. I mean, it happened to me whenever I was younger and I was kind of forced to do something and my parents were like, you love it, don't you, deep down? And I'm like, oh yeah, I totally love it, but I actually hated it. I've never done anything like this before, but I was in gymnastics once, if that counts. Do you want to know something, Hilly? I was in gymnastics and trampoline and I was actually quite good. At one point, I was like one of the best in Northern Ireland for my age. I'm not even joking. Like, I was a proper gymnast. So, do you want to know something, Hilly? I'm with you. Are you nervous? Yes. But the other girls are probably just as nervous. Okay. Yet again, I don't think she's nervous. I think she's just scared of the dad. A lot of times I feel really bad for these kids because I feel like if they don't do well, they get beaten. Did that ever happen to you whenever you were younger where it's like your parents wanted you to do really well and then like you didn't do well and they kind of like, you know, made you feel bad for not doing well, but like kind of covered it in love. They're like, do you want to know you've done rubbish this time, but I'm sure you'll do better next time. I mean, do you want to know something? If she wants to give it a go, I'm all for that. The dad doesn't seem to be forcing her too bad. It's not like one of the other crazy moms where literally manhandled the child. I feel like Hayley does put a lot of pressure on herself and I will as well take some of the blame for that. I'm a single dad. Haley's mother and I, we were married for approximately seven years. Okay, so yeah, he is into women. I think it's just he's very feminine. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's probably not good to think that all feminine men are gay because like that's a really bad stereotype. Something else that I've noticed is that he speaks with the bottom of his jaw. I've recently been seeing a lot of people doing that recently and I don't know why. Is it their bottom of their jaw or their top jaw? I mean, I speak with both my teeth. You can like see them move whenever I talk, but there's some people who like talk like this where it's like they don't really move the top of their mouth but they move their bottom jaw. I can't even do it. He speaks with his bottom jaw. We separated, but Haley and I's relationship is, you know, it, it's very loving. A lot of times I do wish I had more time to be the fun parent. Aki seems like a lovely dad. He really does. I always have respect for dads who raise a child on their own. A lot of times people look at single moms and think it's only really single moms who have to raise a child. But nope, single dads do it as well. And, you know, with them it can be a lot tougher because, you know, like they might not know what they're really doing. But I also feel like Haley knows daddy is consistent. Either way, Hey, you're a princess. Okay. Yeah, again, she just seemed really scared. Maybe it's the way they've edited it, or maybe like she's actually like that. But I think she just is a bit nervous. Like, I love wee nervous children. I feel like I'm very good with nervous people or like quiet people, because like I bring out their weird side. We're at Salon Mia Bella here with Haley today to get our hands and feet done and preparation for the pageant. Yeah, again, there's something about the mouth. I don't know what it is. Look, I'm not being mean, I'm being honest. I think what scares me is the teeth, the fact that they're so white. I mean, I hate turkey teeth. People who go off the turkey get their teeth done. 
and it's way too wide. It freaks me out. But I think it's the teeth. Like, I don't think they're the right size. I think they're, like, stopping him from actually speaking properly or, like, they're making his jaw painful. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, there's something there. He seems like a lovely guy. She not talk too much. Maybe she is tired. Maybe she's just scared or, like, quiet. I mean, not all kids are talkative. If anything, I love it when they're not talkative. I was recently in Belfast and there was a little girl who came into the restaurant. I was in with my mom. She kept screaming, Mommy! I can't even do it, but, like, a Belfast accent and a little girl, whenever they're speaking loudly and saying, Mommy, it goes through your blimmin' brain. <laughs> Oh, the dad doesn't blink. That's what it is. He doesn't blink. That's what it is. I think I figured it out. It's very intense eye contact. Like, he doesn't blink. Or maybe he's just got, like, a bit of dodgy Botox. I don't know. To get ready for the pageant, I get to get my nails done. Um... It feels okay. Hilly does not know a single thing that's going on. Do you want to do something? I'm with you, sunshine. I can't even go and get my nails done because I nibble them. I literally eat them. Like, I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Can you tell her about the pageant, maybe? Mm-hmm. You don't know. What will I say about the pageant, though? Hilly, you say you're going to go up and dance your heart art. You're going to do the whip, nay, nay, the split, the backflip. Hilly, I believe in you. I believe you'll do well. Well, if I have to tell you what to tell her about the pageant, I could probably just tell her. That sounds like a bit of a mouthful if I have to tell her or what you what i don't even know what he said that was kind of like that was like, i don't even oh my god i can't even speak now it was a load of words Haley can you know improve upon you know expressing their feelings making conversation so that is something i'm working with her on i mean she just seems a tiny bit shy to me you know she's not really the most talkative child and do you want to know something i love that Haley. She is a gorgeous redhead. She is the newcomer of the pageant. This is her very first pageant. <laughs> oh, be careful, Dad. Don't ruin her outfit. I wonder how much she spent on it because some of the other moms spent thousands on it. Elise is going to be doing Haley's hair and makeup. And apparently she got overbooked and she's running behind. And I'm concerned with it. Do you want to know something? You should just smile at her and say, you're going to do your makeup, aren't you? You're going to do your makeup. That'll terrify her into doing it. Everything's falling apart at the seams. Her hair's not holding the curl very well in the back because it's like it's got like conditioner or like a film in it almost. I love her there's just like so much drama about her hair. She's literally a nine year old. There's so much drama you genuinely would have thought she's about to lose her life. We were able to pull the photographer and a makeup lady that came from Houston could help with Haley's hair and makeup at the last minute. Oh my god, look at her. Haley's turning into a proper Kardashian. She's getting a Hollywood glam. Our next part of the competition is the eight to ten age group. They just called her age division. Okay, so they've called her age division and by the looks of it, she's not there. She's in the hotel room. Haley sweetheart you better get them high heels on and run down i actually really want her to do well i think she's a very insecure not insecure but she's not very confident Haley, you go down there and you do fantastic darling one more time eight to ten age group miss Haley. oh where is she they're literally calling Haley, and she's in the hotel room surely like if you're going to be competing you should be like down there hours beforehand i mean whenever i was doing gymnastics trampolining if the competition started at like 9 a.m we'd be down there for eight even like if i weren't competing until like 11 or 12. you know i'd still be down there at the very beginning i am very upset about the complications with hair and makeup and i am full willing to pull Haley from the pageant if this issue isn't resolved in what i feel to be fair exactly do you want to know something stand up for your daughter I'm actually quite happy that I see a parent doing this. The hair and makeup people were held behind. You know, it wasn't Haley's fault. It was the other stupid moms. And this is why I support abortion. Because if that child wasn't birthed, Haley would have been there in time. I just wanted to say after all that problem with makeup and hair, we actually had to have our own people do the makeup and hair. Um, I just want to make sure that Haley is not going to be used. You want to do something that woman doesn't care? All you have to do is smile at her, literally smile at her, say, you're going to change it, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to give my daughter first, please. We'll talk about that later. Let's get the competition over with first. Oh, damn, look at her. She ain't taking any questions from anyone. She's like, let's get the competition over first, sweetheart. Things can go from wonderful to ugly in the snap of a finger. Oh, my God, he keeps smiling. Stop smiling! Whenever some... Oh. Oh my god, look at where her paws are. What's going on with her? She looks like she's trying to push out a fat poo. I hope it doesn't happen because I don't want Haley to be affected by any adult drama. Oh, look at wee Haley. She's upset. I always feel really bad for the kids. It's kind of like dance moms, but not as bad. And dance moms, the moms literally fully on scrap each other in front of the children. She was tearing up and crying and getting very emotional. Nobody likes to see their little girl cry. So I was just getting upset because she was getting upset. I'm quite happy that he isn't getting angry at her. He's not actually that bad. 
dad, you know, he's literally listened to his daughter, he hasn't really forced her into anything, he's just, you know, tried to up her confidence. I feel like all pageant parents should be like this, and I feel like I've been a tiny bit mean to him. But, you know, he's actually doing really well, the other mums would just scream at their children, tell them to stop crying. Chris seems to be handling the stress uh, a lot better than um, I thought he would. Okay, so that's Haley's mom. It's quite good that they've got, you know, a good, like, relationship. Obviously, they split, imagine they, like, hook up again. Imagine Haley gets another sibling. I am going to talk to Ned one more time to kind of tell her this is it. Oh, damn, he's walking over. Did you see his eyebrows? He's got very scary eyebrows. I feel like he's the type of person, like, if you're having a disagreement, he'd go like this. What are you saying? What are you saying? You know, whenever they, like, put the eyebrow down, I have to be careful doing that or this eyebrow will literally fall asleep. Look at him storming over. He's going over there ready to start a scrap. So I just want to let you know, thank you very much for letting me know about the incident that happened with the hair and makeup. And, of course, it's not fair to take on points for any of the contestants in reference to that situation. Stop shaking your head and stop smiling. I I used to have like ticks whenever I was younger. I wasn't diagnosed, but I'd always go like that and shake my head. It was a really bad one I had. And that is starting to bring back them ticks away. He was shaking his head there. So I've spoken to the judges, and although they did deduct the points, I've instructed them to put those points back. Okay. I appreciate you letting yeah. me know. And, and then good luck to you. Thank you. See, I told you whenever you smile at them, they listen because that smile is deadly. Like whenever he smiles like that, they know they're about to get f***ed up. The only thing that matters is you. Okay. Good! Ladies Go on, Haley. Haley W from Pasadena! Okay, we're gonna see Haley. I hope she does well and hope she wins it. Okay, before and after. I mean, at least she's covered and the makeup isn't that bad. It's a bit of eyeshadow, a bit of foundation, and a pretty good. Oh god, apparently I'm about to vomit. A very good dress. Some of the four-year-olds we see are literally in stripper outfits. Haley's dress was $4,000. And I hope that the judges pay her a whole lot of attention because I, I felt like she looked like a refined young lady. $4,000 did he just say her dress was? Haley's dress was $4,000. Yeah, he did $4,000 for a dress like that. Nah, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Look, I love Haley. I think she's amazing, but don't be spending four grand on a freaking dress. I loved Haley's red hair. She she is absolutely gorgeous. She did a remarkable job, especially with this being her first pageant. Yeah, I was about to say she's doing really well for her first pageant. Fair play, Haley. I won't lie, the dress is a bit too much, but hopefully you'll win that money back. I'm getting ready to go on stage for Christmas wear. I've been working on it with my grandma, and I think my dad will be surprised. Okay, wait, so Christmas wear is just like part of the competition. Do you want to know something I'm not even interested? I just want to know if she's going to win or not. She's going to be an L. Um, I have seen the costume and have seen her in the costume, and it's very cute, but as far as what she'll actually be doing she wanted that to be a surprise for daddy okay so she's literally doing like a surprise dance imagine she hits a proper whip nay nay yet again that face that's what it is stop doing that face like i really like it but that is really freaking me out i don't know why but it's kind of like a skinwalker and i don't know how to describe it he seems like a lovely man but stop pulling that freaking like bbl face <laughs> Okay! I mean, Haley, I love the first dance and the first outfit. Let's keep it that way. Her elf outfit was very cute, but the routine itself, with her being in the age group that she was in, it wasn't age appropriate. Oh, right, are you talking about age appropriate? I just thought it was a bit crap. You know, whenever I was younger, I wanted to be a singer, and then I was humbled by my mom when she told me I'd never be one. But she was an elf, and it was a surprise. I guess in retrospect, I don't really see what was, you know, so secret about it, but, you know, of course, I'm do the dad thing and let her know, you know, what a great surprise it was. Okay. Okay, well, that's where that video ended. I don't know if she won in the end. I hope she did. I mean, for all we know, she could have lost, but she's a winner in my heart. Anyways, that's where we're gonna leave the video there. That is the pageant dad. I won't lie, at the start, I thought he was crazy, but I actually think he's quite nice and I really like him now. Anyways, if you want to see me watch more videos like this, let me know. I definitely will. Press the big red subscribe button, and yes, I'll see you all in my next video.